What's going on guys, Sean is here back with another video and if you guys saw the Piss Off Barber Reaper review then you've already seen part of this haircut but I got an absolutely crazy creative ball fade with a tail with a taper with a I don't even know what to call it. You guys leave me a comment once you see it and let me know what we should call it but let's get right into this haircut. All right guys, I got a crazy one for you today. Unfortunately, I was recording this video for the Pissed Off Barber Clipper review, so I did not film the whole blog graduation. Uh, but we have done blog graduation on this haircut. Now I've moved on to the top. I have a section down the middle. He does have some receding in the front, so I've pulled the fringe out, and we're gonna connect the top to the sides where we started with the block graduation. Then we'll bring that up and have that as a guide to cut the top and we'll go ahead and add some texture on top while taking a decent amount of length off. Uh, and that is setting us up to come in and do the sides after. So now I'll pull it up. I'm looking for where it's thin. We're gonna take off a decent amount, probably about an inch while adding some texture as well. So I've got my shears at a 45 degree angle, just coming in, adding a deep point cut and that will take length off at the same time as well. So we'll do that all over, then we can move on to the sides. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this fringe down just a little bit. We will fine tune it later on in this cut, but I wanna get some of this hair out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry the hair. I like to come into dry hair when I'm fading the sides into it. So we will do a finish style later, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the hair most of the way dry. That way my clipper will feed into it when I start on the sides. All right, we're starting off on this side with a number four. We're gonna go right up into the hair on top. So we're just gonna slow the clipper down and let it feed into the hair on top. We'll do this four and then cut the rest of the side down to a three before coming in and starting our taper. Now this is gonna be a high burst taper. So I'm gonna do the guideline from the top of the ear to the top of the C cup at the bottom of the vertical bar, and I'm gonna arch it. So we've arched that, balded it out. Now I'm gonna come in with my shaver and get all that stubble off, get it all the way down the skin, and then we can do our first step. For our first step, we'll come in with the lever all the way open. I do keep it a little bit tighter at the bottom corner of the C cup uh, or the vertical bar, just to make sure I maintain that long vertical bar. We can touch it up later as we go. So I'm gonna start to take that line out with the trimmer because we punched it in with the trimmer. Then we'll move immediately to the clipper close. You can see that section is almost done. Anything else will come out with the clipper halfway open. Our next step is the one guard all the way open. And again, we're going up about a half inch to three quarters of an inch, making a guideline. Then we can immediately close that clipper up and start to take our guideline out. Once we've gone through it with the one closed and there's a slight line left, the half guard halfway open will be the magic eraser to come in and take the rest of that line out. After that, we'll move right on to the number two. We did a three on the sides to begin with. So now we'll take our number two closed and connect everything that we've done to the sides. There should be a slight line left in between the two and the one and the one and a half will be the magic eraser for that line. So come in with the one and a half right now and it should take everything else that's left and blend it all together nice and smooth. And like normal guys, we can come back through and touch it up as needed. Uh, but this side, the steps are done. We will work one and a half down and polish this up as needed. Then we can move on. Gonna edge up this vertical bar. That's all the lineup we'll do right now. Move on to the back taper and we'll do the rest of the lineup later. So for the back taper, you guys can hardly see. There is a long tail on the left side of his head over here. I don't know if you guys have seen it. If you saw the thumbnail, you know it's there. So I'm kind of gonna keep it out of the way for now at the very bottom. And the hair above it, I'm trying to connect. So 
You can see I'm holding that hair with my comb and I'm taking my number four, blending right into it. I don't really know how I'm gonna tackle this yet, so I'm just kind of trying to work with it as we go. Cut the rest of this down to a number four and then we'll work our taper from the bottom up. Same steps as the side guys, we'll start with our slim line, punch in our bald line, go ahead and bald it out, work the same steps up from there. I'm gonna let you guys follow along, kind of enjoy this creative, cool haircut, and we'll come together on the other side and the finishing touches. Then we'll see what you guys think about this crazy haircut. You guys know I like to keep it real with you and be honest when I'm doing these tutorials. If you can see right in the middle of the screen right now, the very far right side of this taper, he just got a swirl in his hair that would not come out. So I'm gonna go through this taper one time. That's what I'm gonna leave in this tutorial. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. There's a whole nother round of me fixing this back taper because that line would not come out. That very bottom one, I don't know if you guys can see it right now. Um, just kind of a diagonal line in his open section. I end up balding that out after all this and doing the whole taper a little bit higher. So if you guys notice in the end, it's a little bit higher. That's why I just wanted to tell you guys, but I wasn't gonna leave 15 minutes of this back taper in one video. So anyway, we'll finish up these steps and move on to the other side. And that's when it really starts to get cool. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and line up around this ear. We will use our trimmer to make a nice straight vertical line going down the back of the neck. Then we'll pivot with our middle finger on the head to get a nice clean arch around the top of the ear. Just little by little guys, take your time and pivot your trimmer around and get a nice smooth circle. So moving on to this side, this is where it really starts to get cool. We're gonna start off with the same steps. Number four up into the length on top. Like I said, I wasn't really sure how I was gonna tackle this tail, so you guys will see it come together just like I did. We're gonna start off with a number four, then I'll come in with a number three underneath it. Go ahead and cut this whole side down to a number three and prepare for our blend. And then we'll start the ball guideline. For the ball guideline, I wanna maintain the tail and kind of have the fade wrap into the tail. So this is an asymmetrical haircut. It is different on both sides. Just trying to be creative here. So it's gonna kind of be almost a burst fade. It's more or less a drop fade. And then the bottom of this fade is gonna wrap into the tail. So we started with our bald guideline, kind of the same shape of the weight of the haircut and then wrapping into the tail at the bottom. So now we come in with the shaver, get it all the way down to bald and we can come in and start our first step. Again, like normal guys, first step, lever all the way open. We'll follow that guideline and follow it down into that tail. Then we can start to work that line out from the bottom.
Now, like I said, guys, I was filming this for the Pissed Off Barber Clipper review, so I tried to go after this line without my trimmer like I normally would. I just started with the closed clipper, and you guys will see that this closed clipper was not short enough to take that out, so you see where I'm working right now. We just got a dark spot left. So I will come in with the trimmer and touch that up. I didn't show it though, like I said, I only did this for that clipper review. Uh, but moving on, now we're at the open one. Same steps as everything, guys, the other side and the back. Open one, now we'll close it up and attack that bottom line. And anything that's left behind, we'll get out with the half guard. Now following the same steps, same system every time, just a different shape. Now we're at a number two, connecting the open one to the number three. And the last line that's left, the one and a half will take out. And then we will work our way through our steps, making sure that we're happy with this blend before we move on. And like I said, I didn't really know how I was gonna tackle this. I really was gonna leave it like it is right now and I just wasn't happy with it. Um, so what we're gonna do guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start to explain it. It's gonna go pretty quick when we get there. But I'm gonna take a number four, just like we did, blending right into the length. And I'm more or less gonna cut between the weight of the haircut and the tail of the haircut all down to a number four and a three and a two. It sounds complicated, it kinda is. Um, but basically, just like when you cut into a beard, we're gonna let the length of the tail kinda lay. And when we come in with that foreguard, it will blend into that tail on its own. So you guys will see that in action here. And then I'll just let that foreguard feed into the top. And we're just gonna kinda disconnect that. So I'll do it with a four, come in the middle of that with a three. And then we'll kind of fine tune everything that's connecting to that tail. And you guys will see the end result. I know that's not the best description. Guys, I figured this out as we went on my own uh, as well. It's kind of a different haircut, but you guys will see it all start to come together right here. All right, we're gonna throw some color enhancement on the finished cut. Like I said, this was just supposed to be a clipper review, so this is the only angle I have of the color enhancement, but you guys can see we're just gonna enhance the vertical bar. Now I'm gonna throw in some 245 indestructible clay. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing styled. Guys, when I put the clay in, I like to really work it in all the way down into the root. I really get it in there, and then I take my comb and I comb it back down. I use a wide tooth comb, so I'm not really yanking on the client. Um, you guys will see I'm gonna really work this in there, get it all the way worked in. Then I'll take my wide tooth comb and comb it down and start to work the final product. Now after combing it down like that, I noticed that his bangs were just a little bit too long. We've noticed with his haircut, the, the longer his bangs are, the actual worse that his receding hairline looks. So we wanted to get it nice and tight, short enough that it looks nice and consistent and full all the way across. So I am gonna go ahead and edge these up even shorter than they were to begin with. Uh, but then you guys can see, we will shake it out and check out the final product. All right guys, here's my man, JT Faded Before. He definitely needed a cut. The tail on the back looking crazy. So overgrown. And there's the finished product, guys. I hope you like it. I know it's different, but these are absolutely my favorite haircuts to do. Like I said, this is my guy, JT Faded on Instagram. Hit that thumbs up if you like it. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think we should call this haircut. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this, and I'll catch you guys next time.